Today, fantasist author Graham Hancock is going to tell Mike Tyson demonstrable reality is wrong. So let's have a look. I see down there, just underneath the grass, Tyson, there's another passage of thoughts on flat earth conspiracy theory. Yeah, conspiracy no theories in general. I have to say, the earth is not flat. <laughs> <laughs> we live on this huge ball in space, definitely. Um, and and, and uh, I, I, I just have no doubt about that. It's an unnecessary thing. Why does the Earth need to yeah. be flat? Yeah. Is it, what, what is it? Even if it was flat, who cares? Uh, I mean, we're here, as a, we're, we're here to live our lives and hopefully to live them well. But the Earth is not flat. And the ancients knew this. The ancients knew this forever. The ancient Egyptians knew this. Everybody knows that the Earth is, that the earth is not flat. You just need to, just need to stand on a, on a cliff and look at a distant ocean horizon and see a ship come towards you and you'll see the the funnel of the ship first before you see the the deck of the ship yeah. that's because it's coming around a curved horizon um yet that that conspiracy theory survives so this is the, this is so this ignorant stupid fantasist author cites an observation through the thickest viewing medium going as proof that demonstrable reality is wrong not taking into account any variables whatsoever and not cross references his observation. Bear with me. And this is why any observation cited as evidence needs to have uh, scientific demonstrations to back up his claims. We can test and verify this for ourselves. Train tracks here appearing to converge in the distance. Through physical exploration and doing scientific measurements as we go, we can test and verify every one of us that these train tracks are not converging. And as a result of that scientific exploration and scientific measurement, we realize there's things at play with our vision, which is why any observation that's cited as proof of something needs to have scientific demonstration to back it, cross-reference it if you like. Particularly if your observation is, you're citing that as proof that every scientific demonstration is wrong. Of course, Graham has no demonstrable science whatsoever to back his observation. He can't take into account vision because that destroys his argument. He's got no science. He's got no demonstrations with the water. And of course, he's got no side profile observations that would back his claims. If what Graham said was true, boats were descending behind a curve, there'd be hundreds, no, thousands of ob observations showing this ridiculous, scientifically impossible scene. There are none. It's because that's not what's happening. The boat's going further and further away, Graham. You've got tides and swells. You're looking through a very, very dense medium. And of course, as the boat gets further and further away, it's reducing in size getting further away and the medium you're viewing it through is getting thicker and thicker. You've got optical things at play there with the sea, tides and swells, and of course your vision. It's a scientific fact. All of that is happening on a level plane. It's a fact. It's not my opinion. It's a demonstrable fact. One that proves Graham's deluded and is lost in his fantasy world. He's written too many fantasy books. And as a result, thinks he resides on a ball, which is in a vacuum. I mean, he thinks scenes like this are real. Cites observations as proof that reality is wrong. Yet Graham hasn't got the savvy to understand that there's things that play with our vision. He can't cross-reference things with demonstrable science. Anything because his assumptions and his claims are scientifically impossible. We shouldn't expect any more from a fantasist author but I feel the need to keep correcting these stupid, silly, unscientific, ridiculous, deluded mantras that the mainstream people keep citing. It's ridiculous. Remember, the flat earth is simply demonstrable science that can be tested and verified by all. Things like large standing bodies of water not having the ability to display convexity upon its surface. Or tower cranes and pendulums not having the ability to be dead still and plumb whilst doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. And not forgetting, of course, you can't have an air pressure system next to a vacuum without some kind of solid wall separating the two. Three demonstrable facts that prove the globe scientifically impossible. The flat earth on this channel is simply demonstrable science that we can all test and verify for ourselves. And of course, any observation needs to be cross-referenced and have scientific demonstration to back it fundamental claims.
That way you take into account things with your vision. It's a scientific, true, honest approach. It takes no bullshit and crushes delusions. Have a good one, everyone.